Good afternoon, everyone. Today is February 10th, 2023. I am Stephen Herwire. I am the owner of Herwire Financial. Today, after we do the market roundup and the disclosures, we'll be talking about is my family protected against the unthinkable? Opinions, voices, material are for general information only, not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual. All performance reference is historical and no guarantee of future results. All indices are unmanaged and may not be invested in directly. <laughs> All data herein believed to be from reliable sources. However, no representation is made as to its completeness or accuracy. None of this is to be construed as tax or legal advice. Consult your advisor prior to taking any action. Material contains only general descriptions and is not a solicitation to sell any insurance product or security, nor is it intended as any financial or tax advice or information about specific insurance needs or situations. Contact an insurance agent. This article is intended to assist in educating you about insurance generally and not to provide professional personal service. They may not take into account your personal characteristics, such as budget, assets, risk tolerance, family situation, or activities which may affect the type of insurance that would be right for you. In addition, state insurance laws and insurance underwriting rules may affect available coverage and its costs. Guarantees are based on the claims paying ability of the issuing company. If you need more information or would like personal advice, you should consult an insurance professional. You may also visit your state's insurance department for more information. Riders or additional guarantee options that are available to an annuity or life insurance contract holder. While some riders are part of an existing contract, many others carry additional fees, charges, and restrictions, and the policyholder should review their contract carefully before purchasing. Last night's numbers, the Dow closed at 33,699.88. Year to date, it's up 1.44%. S&P 500 closed at 4,081.5. Year to date, up 6.3%. The NASDAQ 100 closed at 12,381.17. Year to date, up 14.44%. Gold closed at $1,861.93 per ounce. Year to date, up 2.12%. The Bitcoin index closed up or closed at 21,981.54. Year to date, it is up 32.73%. US dollar index, 103.22 was the close yesterday, down about a quarter of a percent. The 10 year treasury closed at 3.69%. Year to date, it is down almost two tenths of a percent. And finally, the S&P Aggregate Bond Index closed at 199.05, year-to-date up 2.01%. So what is the unthinkable? <clears throat> it's an occurrence often beyond your control that is devastating to your life. To compound problems, there's frequently a harmful financial component. Many times, some planning can mitigate the trauma caused. Some are these occurrences may be beyond your control and cannot be avoided, but some of the consequences, especially the financial ones, can be avoided and or lessened with some planning. A few examples of some potential train wrecks that could show up in one's life. There could be an untimely death in the family. A breadwinner could be sick or hurt and can't work. A teenage driver is in, in an accident with someone. A house fire, uh, aging, and not being able to take care of yourself. Some of these are avoidable to a certain extent. But again, as I emphasize over and over again, planning can lessen the impact of a lot of these things. Sometimes they can outright avoid it. Some ways to minimize the impact. You start, this is my favorite, you start with a well-designed financial plan because it takes into account just about everything. And I prefer using a chartered financial consultant, which coincidentally I am, to assist and guide, guide uh, you once you get your plan. 
in, uh, with you know insurance is going to be part of the part of everything because it's where for a small fee an insurance company will assume part or all of the financial risk now, with insurance we're talking about things like life insurance disability insurance long-term care insurance all of which I can help with and property and casualty insurance which I'm not licensed to, but I know lots of people who are not only licensed, but eminently qualified. But it's not just about insurance. You can have insurance and without a well-designed plan, it might not help as much as you'd like. What a plan does is it optimizes uh, the help that insurance does provide because the financial plan will not only take into account potential problems, but it's useful in determining the proper types and the amounts of insurance. Questions for you to ponder. Am I financially responsible for someone else? Do I have debt? Do I have enough in savings to cover expenses related to debt? Can I replace my possessions if a loss occurs? Can I privately pay for a long-term care need? Are there any new drivers in my family? If I'm incapacitated or worse, does a trusted person know where everything is? A good financial planner will ask all of these questions and many, many more. They will not only think of things you will not, but will suggest strategies to lessen the likelihood and or the damage of such bad occurrences. What's the cost? Answer to this and many of the other questions I get asked is, it depends. Every situation is different. It's no different than going into the doctor's office. When you go into the doctor's office, he's got a examine you head to toe to make sure he's got a full understanding of what your situation is before he can make a recommendation. And I've got to do the same as a financial planner. I need to know everything because that way I can give you the best possible advice. In the more complex situations, they tend to have a higher initial fee, but the final plan is usually protecting more things. You will be paying one way or another. It may not be to your financial planner. It may be paying the price of inaction. And the price of inaction sometimes is the cost may be catastrophic. Or if you don't want to pay that price, you could choose to pay the price up front where you have a measure of control. And in many cases, it's less the cost of doing nothing. Final question to ask yourself will be this. Is the cost of doing nothing higher or lower than the cost of implementing a plan? There's an old adage, those who fail to plan, plan to fail. How do you reach me? Go to my website, herwirefinancial.com. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, use the blue schedule an appointment button in the upper right-hand corner. It's on every single page of the website. You can schedule in person, you can schedule Zoom, you can schedule phone. And two buttons over from that, the red button is my YouTube channel. If you wanna see videos like this and many others that have useful tidbits, please like and subscribe. Please follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And there's some of us who just prefer the good old fashioned telephone. My phone number is 518-631-2569. And my email's there on the screen, sherwire at moneyfoundation.org. Have a terrific weekend.